Okay, so distance doesn't matter, it's speed. So then I guess the real question is, how do you actually even get enough speed in the right way to get to the moon, Mars, and other satellites? This is a bit counterintuitive. So here I've got an example of trying to get from the Earth, this blue dot, to Mars, this red dot. And the sun, I assume. Sun, yeah. Grossly out of scale. They're all far <laughs> too big, otherwise you couldn't see them on the screen. So, okay, so if you're on Earth, you might wait till Mars is in its closest encounter, and yep. then point your rocket in the direction of Mars and fire it. Well, right? that would make sense in theory because it's the shortest distance. That means it should be the quickest trip possible. I mean, on Earth, if I were to go to Brisbane, I'd probably point my car at least roughly in the direction of Brisbane and go, right? You don't go via Los Angeles to go back to Brisbane. That's right. However, let's actually try this. All right. So we're going to take a probe as a white dot and fire it from the Earth in the direction of Mars yep. and see where it goes. So we've left Earth here and then we've gotten enough speed to go into orbit to try and reach Mars. Yes, so we but, fired it from this direction from Earth, but the trouble is Earth is moving. That's Earth right. Is moving at 30 kilometers a second sideways. So in fact, you're not going up, you're going up plus the immersion you inherit from the Earth. Which is kind of what we saw in that previous photo where you're kind of doing that curved uh, arc into space. That's right. So instead of just going like this, like you'd think, because you're inheriting the very large motion of the Earth, and basically everything in the solar system is moving fast, yep. it has to be to stay in orbit around the Sun. Yep. So you actually end up in an orbit like this. And of course, Mars is also moving. So even if you manage to get to Mars, by the time you get there, Mars yeah, is going to be moved. somewhere else. So you not only don't even get near Mars, you don't even get into Mars's orbit, so you just get stuck around the sun. And I was giving it a kick of five kilometers a second away, which is a very high yep. velocity kick. And it was not getting anywhere near as far as Mars because it was basically fighting directly against the sun's gravity. So it warped it around and looped it back in an orbit like this. So what do we need to change? We need to get more speed? Do we need to change the way the speed goes? Well, actually, you can get to Mars with less speed as long as you apply it in the right direction. Okay. What you want to do is take advantage of the fact you're on the Earth, which is moving, yep. and fire in the same direction. Okay. So let's try that. So we're going to fire sideways now. Yes, yeah, so we know okay. the Earth's going this way, and we're going to fire in the same way, so we're adding on to the Earth's velocity rather than trying to fight it. Right, because before we were kind of going up, trying to fight it, and going that way, so we yeah. weren't efficient. So this way, centrifugal force is going to be your friend rather yep. than your enemy. All right. So now you can see you're going faster than the Earth, which means you'll start gliding out into a That's more right. We, orbit. we look to be getting closer to the orbit of Mars now. Yes. Let's see if we get to the orbit of Mars. Looks like we are, but... Yes, so it looks like we did actually get to the orbit of Mars. The trouble but, was Mars wasn't there at the time. That's right, because we're moving around now at a different speed in that orbit relative to Mars. We launched when Mars was that's its right. closest encounter, but that wasn't right, the right thing to do because Mars is going more slowly around its orbit. So we're actually going to need to m not launch when Mars is closest, but when Mars is going to be closest, essentially, Yeah, so it turns out you want to launch when Mars is over there. That's right. So this is something you're just going to have to calculate. You're going to have to do your computer calculation and say, where do we launch? And this is what's called a launch window. Yep. You have to launch at the right time. So it turns out that for this case, you want to launch when Mars is a bit ahead in the orbit. That's right. So if we do this, still launching in the same direction as the Earth. But you can already tell right now we're much closer. We're going to get to Mars. Yeah, they're going to meet. Oh, they're going to meet. It. Hopefully not crash. So now Mars is coming up behind the space probe. Okay, and, and so overtakes we're there. it, and there you're at Mars. But the trouble is you won't stay there unless you crash into Mars. What's going to happen is you still don't have enough velocity, so you're going to then start falling back down again, leaving Mars behind. So, so not only so okay, we can get there, but now we actually need to do something once we're there to actually stay again, unless we crash on Mars. Yes. So what we'd actually do is again the same thing: fire off when Mars is yep. a bit ahead in the orbit. But now, when we reach Mars, we're going to have to fire our rockets again. Okay. And so that's going to be to match the speed of Mars? That's right. So we've managed to match the position. We've got roughly the same speed. Now we see that extra arrow there. Uh, we fire. And uh, in fact, we had to fire by about as much there as we did up here. Yep. Okay. But now we're in the same, same speed orbit. as Mars. And now we can keep going whether we go into want to orbit around Mars or land on Mars or whatever it might be. So you know, you need actually two bursts of speed, one launching and one arriving just to match the orbit at the right time. And this is the most economical way to get anywhere. So from getting to Earth, to Mars, or to any other planet, it's also the same to go from a low Earth orbit to a high Earth orbit. What you do is you fire the rocket and then rendezvous on the other side of yep. whatever you're orbiting, whether it be the Sun or the Earth. It's called a home and transfer orbit. Yep. And this is the most economical way in terms of needing the minimum rocket boost to get from anywhere to anywhere else. It might be quite slow, but in terms of energy, it's the best. And it also means, as you said, practically, there are these discrete then 
launch windows. You just can't launch any time and say, hey, I'm going to go to Mars today. You actually have to wait for when that opens up, which on Mars it's about every 25 months so that it's in that right position to meet. Yes. Or, I mean, you can go a bit earlier or a bit later, but yeah. you're going to be burning more fuel in That's consequence. Right. And it will also look fairly similar. It'll be launching in roughly the same direction as the Earth. 